Hey, welcome to the Back to Eden Garden series. In the last episode, you've seen us take down the Premier One electric fence and get the chickens out of the garden. Well, this episode, I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks of how to put that fence back up so we can keep the chickens out of the garden so later we can put some new vegetables and plants and seeds inside the garden. <coughs> Stay tuned. Hey, in the last video, we, we discussed about uh, single spike versus double spike uh, when we were pulling this fence up. And, and this, the double spike works great for being able to pry that thing up. But upon installation or installing of this fence, uh, you know, another reason why we, we don't really like the single spike um, is that if your ground is super hard, it's going to be hard to get this fence in the ground. And, and this, this is a prime example. This, this dirt right here is super dry and and just real compacted together and you know you, you could take a hammer to the top of your fence post if you wanted to but you know it's a four foot fiberglass rod it's going to be given a lot and you don't want to break it as well well with this double spike you've kind of got a footstool to stand on here to push this thing into the ground it works excellent when you're reinstalling this fence one of the key things is getting it tight and that's just not at the top that's also at the bottom so what i like to do before i step on this and get it in the ground is we're gonna put our foot against it and, and pull tension away from the direction that you're putting the fence up. The first thing I like to do is get a measurement of the land so we can make sure we know where the fence is gonna go. Now remember, when you're installing this fence, you need to make sure the bottom is stretched tight before you put that spike into the ground. Don't worry about the slack up top when you make the corners. We will address this later when we put the tensioning post on each corner. This is the point where two sections of fence come together. Simply connect the two fences together by using the electric leads to tie a knot, but be sure the two metal tabs are connected together so you can complete your circuit. I know this video doesn't have a lot to do with a back to Eden garden, but if you had a second garden, this is where you would be putting the chickens on right now, inside the fence. And come fall, you would take them off of that garden and plant some late crops in while putting them back on your main summer garden during that winter time. Now let's address the corner post. You want to put the fiberglass rods in about a 45 degree angle and then connect the rope up top to creating tension on your fence.
Well, that pretty much wraps up this episode on how to install your Premier One electric fence. Uh, in the next episode in this Back to Eden Garden series, we'll be taking you inside the garden and showing you how to plant inside your wood chips. I know a lot of people have questions whether you plant in the wood chips, in the dirt, uh, you know, when to cover your plants back up with wood chips. So we'll address all those questions in the next video. I do appreciate you watching. If you've got any comments or questions, please leave them below. And uh, until next time, see you later. Thanks. Thank you.